And welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. Today I'm starting a new series called Legends. That's right, Legends. And what I hope to do is look at iconic wristwatches and tell the story of these pieces. And I thought I'd start off by looking at the most classic uh, Patek Philippe of all time, which is the Patek Calatrava. Now, the, the first Patek Calatrava that was released was the Patek reference 96 reference 96 and um, this is a, uh, a very very famous reference and um, by modern standards it's a bit small it was just over the 30 mil um, diameter so by, by modern standards it's certainly a very small watch but um, this is this is the the classic <coughs> Calatrava that started the uh, the huge fascination with the Calatrava and uh, the, the 96 <clears throat> it was really the piece which which has crystallized the brand what Patek did in the um, the 80s was they um, they looked at what are the iconic values of the Patek brand and um, they uh, they actually they looked at the iconic, the core values of the brand, and they they actually designed the 3919. And the 3919 is a classic Calatrava. It's got the hobnail bezel, the Roman numbers. Uh, it's often in yellow gold. It's um, it's just a very very classic uh, Patek Philippe. And uh, the 3919 um, is actually it's a piece that has a mechanical movement it's got a manual wind 215 movement which is a, a really nice movement and um, so this came out in the in the 80s and uh, it had a really good reign it was probably Patek's most iconic model even though the 3919 was considered by a lot of people to be the entry level. It um, it certainly was not a, a you know a poor alternative. It's just a classic Calatrava. The three nine one nine, of course, being thirty three mils, it's now considered a little bit small by modern standards. And um, Archie himself has actually had a three nine one nine, and and I really did love the piece. Um, <clears throat> but the three nine one nine has been expanded further be to become the 5119 which is the um the 36 mil version of it so it's actually it's sort of evolved and uh the interesting thing about the the uh the calatrava itself there is there's so many different incarnations of it and uh, as everyone knows archie's got his 5107 calatrava in white gold which which archie loves but uh, if you want to be a complete traditionalist, and we're looking at legends, legends today, I suppose the, the reference 96 would be considered the, the first Calatrava. And reference 96, what's the, the modern interpretation of that? It's a 5096, and it's basically a, a modern-sized Calatrava without being over the top, but it has... A mechanical 215 movement it's got the sub second at the six <clears throat> so this is probably the most um, it's probably the, the the truest modern interpretation of the original Patek Philippe Calatrava 96 so um, yeah this this is uh, this is why I've uh, I've highlighted this as a legend because this is really um, the, the Calatrava line is the signature line in the Patek range, and um, being the signature line, you know, it's 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 the model that's most famous, and um, I I really do love the Calatrava line, and and the beautiful thing about it is is that even though it's not a, like a grand complication, it's still just such a beautiful, elegant watch, and um, some very famous people, Jack Walsh, you know, the famous ex CEO of General Electric. He's a great Patek fan, and um, you can see on the screen here, he's got his classic, I think it's a 5120 
Calatrava, just very elegant, understated, and, and just, just absolutely gorgeous. And um, I certainly think he made a nicer choice than having a, um, a two-tone date just or a, uh, a day date, to, uh, a solid gold day date. I think it's a more elegant choice, and it's, um, it's a great, great brand, Patek Philippe. And uh, this is what, what makes it the legend that it is today. The Calatrava line is probably the signature line of Patek. And uh, it doesn't get any better than a 5096. And, um, you know, if it wasn't for the, the reference 96, Archie's 5107 just wouldn't exist today. And uh, this is the thing. Patek has got so many beautiful Calatravas with all different um, aspects of them that just make them so iconic and classic. But we're looking at legends, and that's my opinion. I think the the the, the modern interpretation of the 96 Calatrava is, is the um, the 5096, and it's it's also a beautiful piece. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Legends. And please stay tuned for the next installment. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.